Hi everyone, welcome back. Are you tired of seeing every amazing AI model, like the Flux1 or Quen image, only to find they instantly crush your VRAM? If you're running on a consumer GPU, maybe an RTX 3060, a 4060, or even a 3050O, with 8GB, 12GB, or 16GB, you know the pain, slow generation, constant out-of-memory errors, and frustrating crashes. Yes, you're not alone, and it's time to stop letting VRAM limit your creativity. Today, we're fixing that with the single best solution for resource-constrained users, Comfy UI Nunchaku. What is Nunchaku? It's a special custom node that accesses highly optimized versions of large models. The magic happens through a cutting-edge technique called SVD quant 4-bit quantization. In simple terms, this technology shrinks the model size by over 60% and makes the calculations ridiculously efficient. This isn't just about small models. This is about running a massive, modern model like Flexed One using three times less VRAM than the standard version. This translates directly to faster inference, stable generation, and the elimination of those annoying CPU offloading bottlenecks that slow down your system. If you want to run the latest, greatest models on your consumer hardware, Nunchaku is the bridge. Let's install it now. This is the shortest, most direct way to get the node. First, make sure you have the Comfy UI Manager installed. Go to Install Custom Nodes and search for Nunchaku. Click Install, then Restart Comfy UI. Next, go to Templates menu and scroll down until you find Comfy UI Nunchaku. Select the first item named Install Wheel. Change the version to None. And the mode to Update Node. This will populate the drop down boxes with the latest information. Press the R key on your keyboard to refresh the web UI. The version drop downs will now be populated. Select your desired version, set the mode back to Install and run the workflow again. Restart Comfy UI completely after a successful installation. If you hit any errors, go to their GitHub repo for further troubleshooting. Press the R key on your keyboard to refresh the web UI. This is the most critical step for low VRAM success. You must use the quantized Nunchaku models. You cannot use standard models. You must use the SVD quant 4-bit Nunchaku specific models. Here are the links to Flux models. Put them into your Diffusion Models folder. Make sure you download the INT4 models if your card is older than the RTX 40 series. The FP4 models will not run on RTX 30 series cards. As for the text encoders, I'd recommend the Safe 10 source version, use the GGUF versions only if you really have very little disk space left. Okay, let's have a quick look at our workflow. Load your models here. We use the Nunchaku DIT loader instead of the regular UNet loader, and load all other models you downloaded in their respective loader nodes. The links to all required models are in the red node, so let's run the workflow. Here, again, we track our VRAM usage with HWinfo64 software. It took 30 seconds for the encoding as models have been offloaded to RAM. Sampling is fast. 2 to 3 iterations per second. Look at the VRAM consumed. The workflow used only 425 gigabytes of VRAM. The quality is decent and runtime is 56 seconds overall. Another test run shows that the quality is really decent enough though not perfect. However, the time it took for this run was only 17 seconds with the same 425 gigabytes of VRAM used. Okay, again, here are the links. Check out their repo for many more Flux1 SVDQ models. And don't forget to change the CFG to 1 and steps to 4 if you are using the HNL model. Let's have a quick run for comparison. First run took 73 seconds with the same amount of VRAM used. Quality not bad. But for our second run, it took us only less than 6 seconds for a 124 by 124 image with Flux Chanel. So, with more tweaks and Loris added, you may get much more decent results that you like. 
and that is it. You have successfully installed and configured Comfy UI Nunchaku. We bypass the out of memory crashes by leveraging SVD quant 4 bit quantization, effectively getting three times the efficiency out of your hardware. If this video helped you get past the VRAM hurdle, please hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into optimizing Comfy UI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.